So it's uh, been some time since I did a Let's Play. It's been a while since I did any video of any kind. And I'm working on several of them. But uh, in the meantime, how about a Let's Play of a fantastic, classic, Amiga original uh, art by uh, James Sachs. And I've already done a review on this one. I dedicated it uh, to Jim. And I hope you'll uh, check that out if you haven't already. It's one of my proudest uh, reviews that I've ever done, and uh, I always feel like uh, playing this game is a fantastic uh, little ride. We have the Saxons, we have the Normans, we have those ladies. In the year of the Lord, 1149, when the king returned from the Holy Land, he knighted six great warriors who had carried him to victory over the infidels. The king's subject crowded into the palace to see him grant power, wealth, and vast dominions to each of the heroes. When the knight departed from the palace, five rose to their new land. One of the knights of Saxon turned his horse towards Sherwood Forest. And we have a option of uh, four heroes. As I said in my review, I uh, usually pick uh, Jeffrey Longsword uh, because of his... Uh, sword fighting ability and it's very hard in this game on the Amiga version anyway uh, to uh, go through those sword fighting sequences without uh, this guy right here so uh, that's uh, my guy Sherwood Forest here you visit your old friend Robin of Loxley. Many years have passed since you were served, Robin and his men, but disastrous news curtails the reunion. During your journey, an assassin took the king's life. The kingdom is in chaos because there is no heir to the throne. Worse still, I don't know, it went too fast. Normans are assembling armies. The Saxons will fight them. Each side accuses the other of killing the king and stealing the crown. Robin tells you the struggle ahead is a test for younger men. Men like you, he says. Only you can save England. Robin urges you to, uh, you know, do something. He pledges his help, uh, you know, a few times or something. Your income is three, your treasure is nine, and we start on this map. Yes, those um, those uh, title uh, screens go by a little fast. And this one is not a review, we're just uh, you know, playing it head on. Let's hope we can uh, beat this one on first. I really want to beat all of the jousting. That's my like goal for this, if I can possibly do it. I want to beat the jousting, all of them. I beat them a couple times in my review. First time I ever did. And uh, that's what I want. We'll build our army. We have nine gold. And uh, we'll just uh, put all of that into uh, some soldiers uh, for now. I think she will. Yeah, that's, I guess that's fine. And uh, we will seek conquest. Uh, build the campaign army. We'll put them all into the uh, campaign army for now. And we will send forth the campaign army to this uh, big one here, I guess. So now our income is five, and our treasure is uh, five. So, what do we want to do at this point? Do we want to go uh, raiding? No, not yet. I don't think anybody has any money for us to raid. Now, this guy is probably here right now. So, we could go to Sherwood Forest, I think. Possibly, and we can probably attack his uh, home guard. I'm going to make the bold move and do that. Uh, actually, first we can uh, build our army a little more, I think. Because uh, we can go right back home without any penalty to us. So we will do that, and uh, we will build our army up a little more. We only have five, so we can't get a knight. A knight would be very good in this uh, circumstance. Why are only a few of them in my home army? I don't know. I thought I put them all to my campaign army. Perhaps I didn't. <laughs> okay, build the campaign army. Okay, let's put you all into the campaign army. 30 soldiers uh, should be good. Go back here and uh, we will go visit Robin of Loxley. Make sure we have some extra luck uh, for this battle. Riding to Sherwood Forest, you seek Robin's aid in the coming adventure. I expected you, he says, after a moment of thought, he agrees to your request. I will send enough men to help you in this endeavor. Good luck. Always great artwork here. <laughs> And uh, we're going to conquer... Uh, oh, wait, I don't have a catapult. Oh, no! I can't do it. You need catapult. Oh, I've just ruined all of this. Well, 
Let's uh, get this guy out of the battle then, shall we? Lord Wolfric, the Wilds campaign army is in that territory. See what we can do. Okay, so we're gonna kill him. That was good. So uh, we hurt his army uh, pretty bad there, so we're getting somewhere. So now our income is 8 and our treasure is 8. 11, 49. So we have enough to get a knight. Or, I, I want a catapult so bad. Um, that's what we're going to do, I think. Um, we want that catapult. So I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, I don't know. Should I get this extra piece of land right now? Well, that I think that'll give me enough. But then somebody might take this one here. I'm going to go ahead and say nobody's going to take this one for this round. And uh, we'll take this uh, territory here. Damn, I was wrong about that. <laughs> but I do have enough for a catapult now. But I'm, I want even more, I think. I think we're going to take this opportunity to go raiding. And uh, we'll uh, take this guy since he looks to have the most land at uh, four. So we'll try him, I think. Uh, just in case, we will uh, gather some more men. And um, I, guess, I guess people get into your home arm, army automatically for some reason. I don't, I don't remember that one. So we have 17 gold. Uh, we will get a catapult now. And we will get a couple more uh, soldiers. And we will, um, and we will uh, put them into our campaign army. I think we still need a knight. But uh, we're doing good here. And we'll, we'll send him here to protect this land. And uh, we will go raiding and show you some of these gorgeous graphics uh, right here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Great baseline here. Nice, nice uh, scenic view. And uh, that starry, starry night. And uh, torch lit exteriors here. Let's see if we can uh, remember how to do this. It was just a uh, click a lot. Oh, I remember from this. And, uh, come on. <laughs> yes, we got him. Uh, we'll let those guys do their thing. This is the, uh, hard part. And, uh, yeah, I think we let him come down. And we'll click away. Uh, we'll take him up the stairs a little bit, and we will come back down. Uh, that's what I remember always uh, helping me win. I don't think it's a guarantee, but uh, it uh, helps when you do it that way. Yes, we got it. We got the treasure. Oh, wow. You make it to the castle's inner sanctum. Slowly advancing into the chamber, you peer inside to, to learn if the darkness conceals any secrets there. Glittering in torchlight, an incredible sight meets your eye. An open chest filled with gold. Summoning your men, you take the gold and fight your way through the castle gates. The night is filled with new promises. as you begin the journey home. You gotta read these ones quite fast. Oh, my campaign army is being attacked. Let's see how this one goes. Come on, guys, you can do it. Oh, it's going to be hard. Um, ferocious attack! Yes. Yes. Yes! <laughs> you got to know when to do those uh, ferocious attacks. I think if you're just a little bit below them, a ferocious attack will uh, uh, do you nicely. So now we have an income of 9, treasure 24. Alright, we will uh, get a couple knights, I think. We'll get uh, Robin's help, I, th I believe, and we'll um, 
Well, an attack. I think the blue guy, I think, is a good one. Because he's probably uh, gotten some money here, and this guy's probably hurting because uh, he's attacked us so many times at this point. So, um, let's build our army. Uh, get a knight, uh, get some more soldiers. Do we want another knight? Yes, we will take another knight. And um, we will get Robin's help. Even though we wasted his help last time, uh, I think we could use it probably. And uh, we've already uh, seen all of this jazz. Go to this one. And uh, come to you, Blue. I think uh, you'll be good. You prepare to lay siege to the castle. Beautiful, beautiful scene right here. And this time you're seeing it without the lines going across everything. Uh, because I have the uh, I have another camera which is syncing everything. I showed it right correctly. I showed it correctly in my review, but it had you know the refresh lines going because the camera was 30 frames per second. The uh, CRT is 60, so I got it another step closer uh, to how it would look originally. Let's see if we can remember how uh, to do this one. Oh, that was a little too high. Good. Alright, can we do this? Without... God damn you. Ah! Oh, you suck so bad. Yes! No! Good. Yes! <laughs> we got it. <laughs> I think some of the other versions added some more stuff to that. Oh, there's nobody there. <laughs> we had Robin's help for nothing, I guess. So now we get all of this land here, which is nice. Oh, somebody called the tournament! Can we do it? Wild announces the tournament at Ashby. Knights, nobles, and peasants gather to witness the dangerous spectacle. The tournament begins. Select your next opponent. So, Cedric of Rutherford, Wuthric uh, the Wild. I, some of these guys I don't think are actually in the thing. I don't know who Brian de Gilbert is, or Philippa Melfson, or Roger Falkenbridge. Um, these are the other guys, and I think they already got the other guy out because we just defeated him. So, I don't know who these other guys are. Um, maybe they suck, so I don't know. I forget which one. They all have skills in the beginning. Who is bad at jousting? That's probably what I should be trying to uh, get. Uh, who is... I don't know who these people are, but... Uh, um, we'll go with uh, Melfusin. Uh, I don't think he has any land. I, but I'll go with Fame, I guess. Can we do this? I did it a couple times in the review. I don't remember how I did it. <laughs> I think I hold the down the mouse button in a certain way, and then I kind of lunge forward or something. It's very odd. This <sighs> no. <laughs> Since your day in the list of SB, you were not the champion, but your deeds will be remembered. Leaving for home, you vow to return and bring glory to your name. Wow. <laughs> Oh, we sucked. Alright, so there's definitely a campaign army in this one right here. I think we would do well to attack him. 
Or, or we could go this route. Or we could just get rid of this guy now and get another castle. That might be nice. Uh, we'll go back home for a minute. And see what we can do in the uh, army building. So we have 15 gold. And uh, I'll just get all cast uh, all soldiers uh, for this one, I think. And uh, we'll see conquest, build our army up. That's a nice amount of uh, soldiers, I believe. And um, we want to try to get rid of this guy because this guy is probably going to go for our castle next. Um, or, I think we should try to get rid of this guy, because, uh, that would probably hurt him quite a bit, so, that's, uh, what we're going to do, I think. Uh, do I feel confident? Do I feel confident? Do I want to get, uh, Robin's help? I think he'll only give me help one more time. I don't feel confident. I'm going to go for it. Okay, let's uh, do this. Lord Brian de Busgurbert's campaign army is in that territory. Let's do this. Okay, I think I'm glad that I got Robin's help, I think. Because uh, we're going to take him out pretty good. So I might lose a territory here. Nope, nope, because they are fighting each other there. Alright, that might be an excellent opportunity. Oh, do I want this guy? Because that would give me quite a bit of land there. I might want to leave this guy here as a sacrificial lamb. We have quite a bit of treasure at this point. We can get another knight. Get another catapult. Um, I, don't, I don't know if another catapult will actually help us, though. Uh, let's see. Read the map. Alright, uh, leader average, strong average. We don't want to do the jousted with him. Owned by Wolfric the Wild. Two gold per month. So he's struggling. You. Eight gold per month. Okay. And you. Six gold per month. What are you doing out here? You don't seem to be doing much. Okay. So, uh, once again, we will go back to our home and, uh... Get some more of our men here. Build that army up. We will get another knight, and the rest we will uh, fill with soldiers. And another castle to look at here. Alright, can we um, figure this one out now? Almost at it. Next one. Suck. This is so much easier with a laser mouse. The tank mouse has got to be a lot harder for this. It's. I think it's. You get one, and then you go one more, and then you get the next one, and you go two more. I think. No, not that time. <laughs> one of those is the same. Maybe. <laughs> I forget. All right, we got it. Ah, nothing there, nothing there, huh? Doing good. <laughs> I guess they probably should have uh, let the guy remain and see if he can conquer a castle within, you know, a certain amount of turns. That's how they did it in Might and Magic, I think. Heroes of Might and Magic, anyway. All right. This one's a, uh, this might be a short game. That's fine with me, I wanted a video out. And I could think of a no, uh, no more fun game to uh, have a quick go at than this one here. Everybody's attacking me, come on, guys! <laughs> it's, uh, your fault here. You have, uh, killed all of your campaign armies. I want my girl, can you, uh, give me a girl here? Like, when does that come out? Income 40, treasure... Oh, wow, we got some nice ones here. We might actually take this opportunity to um, build a few more castles, I think. So, uh, build our army, we'll take a castle. 
and uh, we'll put one here that'll get us some more money and uh, again we'll buy another one and uh, put that one there so we are in good shape we will uh, take out the blue guy finally I think this will probably be taken in the next oh I guess I could go right for him we're gonna make it a little more challenging for ourselves because that's gonna give him another castle probably uh, let's get this guy out of Sherwood Forest shall we Nineteen eighty six guys, like <laughs> what a gorgeous game for nineteen eighty uh, ever. I mean god, this is a piece of art. Absolute piece of art right here. Doing good. No, no, no. Gotcha again. Jim always good with the uh, kind of like color palette swapping there, simulating rain or moving rivers and such. Won that territory. All right, now what's the damage? Ah, oh, finally, yes. The Normans have kidnapped a second lady. Yes, no, 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 no. I think I just got screwed on that one. Because I didn't click fast enough. Oh, this game and its timing sometimes. Man! Oh, it sucks. Oh, man. I don't... I have to wait around for another one? You don't get many opportunities for that. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, well. Uh, we will get definitely get a lady. Um, I don't care if I have to uh, sit here and cut the video until I get one. We will get a lady, because that's the best uh, scene in the game right there. Nice amount of stuff. We'll get a couple knights and a lot more soldiers. And uh, we're not even going. We're not even going to go to uh, Robin uh, because well, I'm going to actually just go territory by territory I think uh, we're just uh, we're gonna extend it a little longer go here uh, go there and uh, nobody's even att attempting anything huh hmm. Hmm. kidnap a Saxon lady guys would you would you do that uh, let's uh, just take all his land I guess <laughs> oh, we're getting uh, ridiculous on this uh, campaign army, aren't we here? All right, so he's over here. Let's uh, see what we can do to his uh, army. Let's see what he's got. Not enough for me, I'm afraid. Norman rogues ambush a sheriff and steal the taxes he was collecting. You lose half your income this month. Grr! That's fine. I think we got uh, plenty of income. What do you think? It even adds the castle. I love how it does that. Okay, so. Let's see what Red has got uh, in his campaign army here. Philip Milfusen's campaign army is in that territory. Nah, not a match, not a match. How about you? Yes. So it depends on, you know, how everything starts and your luck of the draw there and where you end up, because, you know, you could end up down here, you could end up, you know. This is probably the worst spot to end up. <laughs> All right, good. I, I really want another opportunity to get my uh, Saxon lady. In the meantime, we'll be ridiculous and put a bunch of castles everywhere. Bup, 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 
pa. And just in case somebody were going to get to, no, nobody's going to go. Nobody's going to make it all the way to the top. That's probably the best spot to start, possibly, is the uh, top left castle. Or next to Sherwood Ford. I mean, that that's also a bad spot, because you're just right in the middle and everyone can get you. But you're right there with Robin, so that could have a strategic advantage. But uh, this is, I probably started at the best possible starting location for this one. So we will send our campaign army over here to protect this castle, and I think we'll call another tournament, because uh, I want to see if I can actually do something here. I don't have enough treasure to pay for a tournament! Aww! <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll conquer another land, I suppose. Let's do this one. I don't think he has much of a chance here. They're using all their gold here to do this stuff. Alright. We'll get rid of the uh, red guy here again. I would like to hold the tournament, but uh, I'm always afraid he's going to go for one of my uh, castles here. Why don't you guys just submit? You've lost. Yes! Do it quick! Do it quick! Don't wait! Don't wait to read it! Just hit rescue her! That's all you do! <laughs> Which lady? There's four ladies in total. I didn't get my favorite the last time I did the review. There's a certain brunette that I really like in this one. I, I think I got, I got a brunette, I think, and a blonde. I think I got a, a brunette in my pictures and a blonde in my um, actual video, but it's not the one I like the most, either of them, so they're all, they're all beautiful, though. <laughs> gotcha! Number one down, but the next guy is always the hardest. Love that, isn't it? Love the shadow. Shadow bigger than the person in the background. Alright, we'll uh, click, 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 click. You should see how I'm clicking right now. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm uh, dual clicking, uh, letting my uh, right hand do some clicking, and then uh, hurriedly switching to my uh, left hand so I can uh, keep, keep it uh, quick and fast. Uh, just so I don't slow down at all and get fatigued, so... Please, please, longsword, you can do it! You, yes, we got it! Whew. Always a nice uh, workout. Alright. The, um, the scene. Oh, ma, the greatest treasure. You creep into the torchlit chamber, hoping to find the kidnapped sex and dasmal, but prepared for another onslaught. She accompanies you to castle, and during the weeks that follow, gratitude turns to love. Then, late one night, we had to skip that, because, uh, you know it's gonna switch before we get a chance to read all of that. Ah, here it is. Oh, look at that. It's so beautifully lit. I, that is, I think that's the girl I got in my last uh, one. Yeah, this is uh, the Amiga's Mona Lisa. You know, plain and simple. That's a work of art. 
And, uh, wow, yeah. <laughs> I liked girls uh, very much after this. After seeing this as a kid, I was, like, amazed. Like, wow, like, could I have that one day? <laughs> And uh, some nice some music in there in the background as well. Now, in case you wanted to see all the ladies, probably the first time anybody has uh, done this, I went ahead and collected all of that, playing the game uh, multiple times. On the upper left, we have Rosalind of Bedford. On the upper right, Anne of Lancashire. On the bottom left, Rebecca of York. And on the bottom of right, Catherine of Nottingham. Ooh, I think I almost managed an English accent there. And uh, Catherine is uh, my favorite. I think I like them all, but uh, definitely I think I have an affection for uh, Catherine. I hope you enjoyed that. Who's your uh, favorite? I might release this one separately, just in case anybody wants to look at it. It might be the first time. Definitely the first time in NTSC. So we got Rosalind. Maybe that's not the one I got. Uh, her actual portrait looks a little different than the one I remember, so... Maybe that's one of the girls I didn't get the last time, but... Uh, oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. I... I want to uh, hold a tournament and to see... Can we please... Can we please win one of these things? No, I. Ah, it's so hard. It's so hard. <laughs> How did I do it last time? I should have watched the damn video. <laughs> ah, do I get? Uh, Normans have kidnapped a Saxon lady. I remember one time I did this, and it was your Saxon lady. So uh, they had kidnapped. My, I, can I have multiple women in this game? Um, we must persevere and uh, find out. That would be amazing. <laughs> Do I have the tapping stamina uh, to find out, though? That is another question. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to break break this uh, wonderful laser mouse of my ear. <laughs> Come and get me, I. Down here. Do, 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 do. It's almost operatic, kind of, in how um, they're uh, kind of moving to the music. It's almost like they're dancing. <laughs> And I love it. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Back down, back down, back down, back down. Back down. And we'll go again. <laughs> oh, man. We can do it. We can do it. Get in the middle finger now. Uh, yes, we did it. Can we, can we possibly get more? I've never seen this. If this is a possibility, this is amazing. New respect. Uh, no one's appeared dearly for their mistake. You find the uh, inside the dark shade. We're sure that you are a friend. You escort her from the castle. Okay, so no. It's not love. And they don't show the scene again. But, um, rats. Why did I do that then? <laughs> Well, I saved a fair lady, I guess. <sighs> I think we're going to go ahead and get this guy out of the uh, picture. Take this guy out, and um, after that... I will do some cutting, and we will we'll go to a tournament that I can actually win, maybe. Maybe, maybe, if I can actually win one. So take out this castle first, though. Way the heck up there. Alright. One more. 
No, that one, I guess... I guess the first one you actually hit the exact si No, God! Every time I think I have this thing figured out, it turns out I don't. <laughs> Maybe each castle is a little different. I, I don't know. But we still got it. Uh, yeah, definitely. Still good. Now, what are you even there? We'll get ridiculous again and uh, put castles everywhere else we haven't put them in already. And uh, we will send our campaign army to get this guy, and we'll just stand here for the rest of the game until I get a frickin' tournament. I win! Great. I guess we'll have to buy another catapult, I guess. But I've officially grown tired of uh, trying to win a jousting tournament. I can't do it. I've done it. I've done a couple of them before, but I can't even win one. So uh, maybe I'll try in uh, you know again in a couple hours and uh, insert something if I happen to win. But uh, let's just go ahead and win this game, shall we? So I actually did manage to uh, win the jousting, and I have a. Uh inserted this little clip for all of you. I had to go with uh, Wolfric the Wild, who is the best at Joust. I think I won one uh, with Jeffrey a long sword, but uh, Wolfric the Wild is definitely the best. And I was, I actually managed the knack of it to the point where I actually fought for land. And I was actually, in this playthrough, I was in some dire straits. And uh, then I managed to uh, figure out how to win. And I pretty much won with with um, Wolfric the Wild here just by uh, capturing land that way because he sucks at sword fighting uh, so uh, don't expect to get any girls uh, or go raiding with uh, him but uh, yeah so the, if you uh, my tips for doing this because I actually watched um, my uh, review to uh, see if I could uh, figure it out again and at first I watched it and I went and tried and it didn't help me at all watching my review and seeing the way I did it didn't help. But you see my mouse where it's up to the left there, and you see the Amiga Z's there? That's actually how I, I finally figured that out. That's where I put my mouse. Just to initialize. You know, that's where I. That's the general area I want to be in when I start. And on the Amiga, you know, his lance goes up and down. It doesn't do that on other versions. It just stays straight. It's so much easier on other versions of this game, and it's very hard on the Amiga because your lance is going up and down with the horse. So if you want to do it, you uh, put your mouse in that uh, general vicinity where I'm putting my mouse. That's where you start. And you want the top of your lance, when it does its up motion, you want that to be on the very upper right of his uh, shield. And if you do that, you should get it. I feel that's how I managed to do it anyway. So there you go. As your dusting ends, you are proclaimed champion of the tournament. Your skills unmatched, your strength without equal. News of your victory spreads throughout the realm. And that's how you do it. One more castle to go. We'll get that fantastic, uh, very early 86 ending screen that I am quite the fan of. Let's see. One more. No, one less. Ha! Okay. Oh, we suck. Oh, we might not win this one. I think it's still good enough to uh, win the game, though. <laughs> Nobody's even there. Why am I bothering? <laughs> All right, we win. We win! You have defeated the last enemy lord and restored peace to the once divided land. Now it's time to crown a new king of Saxon King! Suddenly the crowd is alive with whispers, a repeated phrase that races through the packed hall. The crown has been found. 
Robin has produced the Cronus by magic. He was a thief who took the symbol of power after the king's death. His men have been guarding the Cronus here were forced to prevent it from falling into the hands of the Normans. Grinning broadly, the noble outlaw turns the crown over to the archbishop who begins a ceremony that will make you king of England. I hope you all uh, enjoyed this uh, little uh, Let's Play that I've done here. I hope you will check out the review for Defender of the Crown, dedicated uh, to uh, Jim Sachs, art director of this fabulous game. And uh, it's one of my favorite reviews that I've done personally. Um, very transformative in nature. You can't do too many of those because, uh, you know, you do too many and, you know, it comes off pretentious and not genuine and that is that one is most certainly genuine so um i hope you'll check that one out and i hope you enjoyed this let's play and check out some more videos if you would